Incredible video out of Yellowstone National Park tonight. This shows a thermal feature exploding. This video was shot by visitor Vlada March. And you can see people running for cover. You can hear them yelling as the debris rains down on the boardwalk. That's quite a sight. Park rangers say this happened around 10 o'clock this morning near the Black Diamond Pool and Sapphire Pool area of Biscuit Basin. That's north of Old Faithful. As we zoom in on this map, you can see it there to the north, up above, up top. Uh, tonight, Biscuit Basin is closed, including the parking lot and the boardwalks. The Grand Loop Road, however, remains open. Local News 8, Seth Ratliff is live for us right now in West Yellowstone tonight. Seth, you were inside the park. What did you see? Well, Todd, I was inside the park earlier today, right near Biscuit Basin, and I saw the closure and the aftermath of that explosion. I'm actually joined right now by Velada and Steve March, who were the ones who shot that video in the park earlier today, and their two sons. Um, Velada, I wanted to ask you guys, what were your thoughts when that explosion was happening at Biscuit Basin? There weren't many thoughts at that point. Uh, our tour guides uh, just mentioned uh, that something unusual was happening, and then when I pulled my phone up and started making taking the video um, and then within seconds it changed it became a huge explosion uh, we saw rocks in the sky the, the the we couldn't see the sun anymore and then when we started you know running and I was screaming run 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 to the kids and we just try to get as far as we could All right. what are your thoughts tonight after having that experience obviously you spent some time in the park earlier today what were your thoughts uh, Steve no I mean our thoughts were I guess we went through something, you know, once in a lifetime, very monumental uh, experience. Our ex great tour guide said that he's never seen or heard of anything like that before. The park rangers who have decades of experience also said the same thing. So I guess we felt uh, lucky that we got to experience to live through it and make it out alive. and. We actually went and went on to enjoy the rest uh, the rest of the park. We just got back, and um, yeah, I guess it's just something we haven't really fully processed. We'll be processing for a long time. Just wanted to mention that my mother was actually sitting right across from the explosion, and she barely made it out of there. Um, she she made it. She was full co fully covered uh, in ash, and she saw uh, boulders and rocks falling literally next to her. So the fact that nobody was hurt, as far as we know, is really amazing. I actually can confirm that from what we've heard from park rangers is that nobody was injured in this incident, which is incredibly fortunate, especially as you were describing. Exactly. Um, let me see if I can ask some questions to your sons real quick. Quick. Uh, it was Ethan and what was your name again? Maxwell. Maxwell. Ethan and Maxwell, what were your thoughts when this explosion was happening? Well, firstly, it was um, a, a weird experience, you know, once in a lifetime. I, w I was very, like, nervous, rocks falling anywhere, thinking that, oh, I'm going to fall and, and burn myself alive. It, w it was very lucky that none of, not, not much of the boardwalk got destroyed, you know. All right. Well, thank you guys. Um, from what we've heard from park rangers earlier today is that the activity of vol volcanic activity underneath the Yellowstone National Park is still normal. We do have photos of the aftermath of this hydrothermic explosion that happened at the Biscuit Basin earlier today. We will have those on our website, localnews8.com. Reporting live in West Yellowstone, Seth Ratliff, Local News 8. Incredible sight. Seth, thank you for that live report.